my name is Candace, and I became the owner of this property in November of 2018. Room one and room three, well, we're basically, what we're sitting in is the historic building. And the history is, is that this used to be the house for the miners. So it's the miners lodge. The story is, is that it was built in the 1870s. In fact, this also, it's rumored that this vanity behind us is the doorway for the miners to go to work. Then down the road, it's been said that this used to be like a jail basically. And then someone even came in the store one time and told us that even further down the road it was a butcher shop at one time. I can believe that because this room gets very cold. Yeah, so there's many stories from our guests talking about how cold it will get in this room oh, yeah. in the middle of summer, in the middle of the day. We know that it's been modified, so one and three, from what we can tell, room one and three is original, and then room 12 and two are add-ons. Not sure what time frame that happened so that's kind of pretty much what we know so far did you just it, that it, was like an electric vault yeah in it my just hand. shocked it a good spirit dude i just got the chills man that's the same thing it did in room one remember when me and nick said it sounded like someone well, i flicked felt it? that one man. yeah i felt that one so when we became the owners in 2018 um the previous owner i was under the impression that it was part of her family that she would be taking the doll when she left and she said that the doll came with the motel and it's going to stay with the motel and she actually so we've been here about two and a half years the previous owners were here um, about nine years so we actually have no idea how long she's been here and who brought her but she's always been in room one When we got here, she was here on the vanity behind us, and that's where we've left her. But I have seen pictures from the previous owners of her being across the room where the television is. So somebody's moved her along the way. And a lot of times guests will come and move her around the room or outside of the room. And one time I had a, a gal that she told me she moved the doll. And then she told me all these things that kept happening to her after she moved the doll. And that's the only thing I can think of is because other people have moved the doll before, but for some reason after she moved the doll, her curling iron fell down and almost landed, it was hot and almost landed on her foot. Her makeup bag fell off the counter and then um, she had a scratch on her back. And I've never had anybody report that before. I've had people put the doll up on that shelf and put the pillow over her. Put the pillow over her? Yes, and I found the doll behind the microwave before. I found the doll in this chair with towels on her. I've come and found her outside the door and nobody's ever reported anything like this one gal did after moving the doll. So I'm like, she she did not like being moved by this lady. No. My first experience, which was funny, I thought I was imagining it. And it was uh, coming in this room. Are you gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna echo me? my little echo. Like I said, I didn't know anything about haunted or stories. I hadn't done any research, really. We were just like, oh, it's for sale. Let's take a look and see if this is going to happen. So when we got the tour, we came to room one. Again, I'm most like clueless. And so we came through the door and um, something grabbed my shirt. I thought it was a nail or something. And I turned to look at it and there was nothing there. So I was like, oh, I must have imagined it. Then I went home and I was doing my research about the motel in Virginia City and all that and it came up as oh, this place being Virginia one of the most City. haunted motels in Virginia City and I was like, Ghost County. So I came back and asked the previous owner, I said, hey, I said, so is this place haunted? And she said, well, do you believe? And I said, well, of course I believe, but I said, I've never really had any outstanding or extraordinary experiences. And she says, well, I'll tell you why I believe and I have. And I just kind of went, okay, don't tell me anymore. I'm good, right? So yeah. things started to happen, but again, all good. Nothing scary, which was good because, you know, we're new. 
in room three, we had a gentleman who said he saw an older man. He goes, I don't know if it's all the stories I've heard, but he goes, I woke up and there was an old man in overalls standing there. That's the standing there watching. And then he blinked his eyes and then he was gone. So he thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I would love to though. I would love to see what Twin Paranormal gets at the motel. All right, Ghost Gang, we are here at the Sugarloaf Mountain Motel. Now, this place was built in 1878 and was originally built as a boarding house for the miners who would work over here in the mines. And we are very fortunate to be able to rent out the actual building that still stands here today. Like Ryan was saying, we have three out of the 12 rooms that are part of the original construction of the building. That is room one, two, and three. Room one is known to be one of the most haunted rooms in the entire motel. And that's because it has a very mysterious doll inside of it. Did a moth just come out of you? Jesus. And that is because there is a mysterious doll that has been left inside the room. Earlier when we had arrived to the Sugarloaf, we were talking to one of the workers who also lives here and has been here for quite a while. She was telling us that no one knows how this doll got here or where this doll had even come from. The owners that own the Sugarloaf, to their knowledge, this doll has been here way before they even bought this property. From the reports that we were able to find of the activity here, some people have claimed that they have heard heavy breathing in nearly all of the rooms, loud footsteps even though the floors are carpeted, and knocks on the wall. Some of the experiences that we were able to pick up on from some of the people who live here at the motel is that when they are in those three rooms, they will feel like somebody is pushing them from behind. Then they'll turn around and nobody's there. I just feel very, like, unstable, hmm. weak. That just did. I felt that on the floor. Our goal here tonight is to find out how these spirits actually got here in these motels because there are no reports saying that anybody had died here at the motel. So are they tied to the land or could it be something else mysterious? So let's go. Okay guys, so I actually have my girlfriend helping us out here. We have our base camp here. Night visions are in room one and two. This is room three. I guess we're going to go ahead and start with room one with the doll. She's going to let us know if she sees anything on the cams because when we are setting them up and we are here in room number one, we could see what looked like a darker shadow kind of near the doll. So she's gonna let us know if she sees anything. So we're gonna start in room number one. Okay, I'd like to introduce all four of us who are in this room. My name is Ryan. The guy over next to the door, his name is Wyatt. The guy sitting on the bed, his name is Nick. And the guy holding the big light in his hand, his name is River. If there is anybody in this room, we have objects that you can come up to. You can communicate with us and tell us your name and why you are here. If there is anybody here in this room, I have a device, an object in my hand that you can come up to, grab onto it. Dude, I just got shivers up my back. Really? Yeah, that's super cool. You're right up against the corner, too. Here, somebody grab this walkie talkie because. I don't want people to say, oh, this walkie-talkie is going to interfere with our evidence. So. Yeah, I can move it. Okay. Is there anybody in here with us tonight? Is there anybody in here with us tonight? If you are, we'd like to communicate with you and talk to you. Is someone moving? I'm not moving at all. You hear the scratching? You saw that? Thank you so much. Is there any way you can tell us your name and why you are here? Bathroom area? Is it? 
I'm going to set this on the bed. If you can please grab onto it, use your energy. Don't be afraid. He's dangerous. Who is? He's dangerous. Who's dangerous? Are you talking about the spirit who likes to push people when they come in this room? Please grab onto that device, that object that's on the bed. It'll light up more colors and show us that you are here with us. Oh, wait, I just realized the SLS is mapping someone in the, ba in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Against the shower Are you on the bed right now? How old are you? Does this doll belong to you? Fourteen. Fourteen. A demon here. A demon. Did you hear that knock right before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're saying there's somebody evil here. Are you not evil? Can you please let us know why you are here? Were you a miner here that would stay in one of these rooms? That lived here and would go to work? Ill. Kill? Ill. Ill. What? Is what? That so what? Wait, what? That was huge. Does it always do that? No. no. That. Dude, it's small. Yeah, a lot of people definitely got sick around that time, too, because the conditions that the miners were working in were horrible. The snow would be so high. They had to live in small lodges like these. I've not seen a fireplace anywhere around here. It was just stone and brick. Is there anywhere you'd like us to go so that we can communicate with you a little bit better? What was that? Did you hear that? That either sounded like something just moved. That just ticked. Sounded like something either moved on the bed or like an exhale. It was like. I heard a pretty loud thump. I know Jade's laying down. Pretty sure she's still laying down. Just for a second, I mapped something above the bed. Really? Just for a second. Whisper. Is that what I heard? You were just saying you heard a voice mm -hmm. or a or a sigh, right? It, yeah, it was just a. Whoa! Whoa! Was that a cry? Whoa, whoa. Was that a cry? Dude, I don't know what that was. It sounded like an infant so crying. I just got the chills. It sounded it like an infant good. crying, dude. SLS mapping the chair. Like the chair? The chair. Like somebody standing right there? Yeah, right behind it. Are you standing right there? If you are, show us that you are here. Reach over and grab onto that object on the table right next to the doll, please. It's grabbing you with both hands. Grabbing me. It happened here. What happened here? You're still here. Grab onto this device. Grab onto this object that's right in my hand. Jail. Jail. This used to be a jail. This used to be a jail. Oh, it went to the wall and then it disappeared. Grab onto it hard, please. Use your energy. Thank you. Where are you? Obviously somebody's still here. Make sure I'm away from anything that...
in front of the fridge. Are you over there in the corner? Can you come up to me? Just walk up to me, grab onto this device that's in my hand. All you have to do is reach over. I was sick. I said ill. 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 And I was sick. It happened here. So you were sick. Did you die from an illness? I want to set this. Back by the chair. Oh. If you are over here, please grab onto one of those objects. It is in perfect frame, just standing in front of that chair. Really? Perfect. Are they looking around the chair? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. You can just grab onto that. You've been doing really good explaining why you are here. I just want to know why we are not able to find out. Nope, just ticked who you are and how you got here. None of we're not able to find any records of how you got here. Is there any way you can tell us what you used to do and how you got here by any chance? We know that you were ill. Maybe you can talk to us a little bit more about who is evil and where that evilness is. Whoever it is that just wants to stay near you and move from the chair to the wall. They can't. Right. Leave. Leave. I thought they wanted you closer. Okay, we're going to give you a little bit of a break. If you feel comfortable enough to come into the next room over in room number two, that's where we are going to be. We're just trying to communicate with you and find some answers. I'm sorry if we're, we're making you a little bit frustrated. That's not our plan. Who's talking? My name is Ryan. I'm right here. I'm waving. Thank you for communicating with us and talking to us. Okay, we're going to move to the next room. If you feel comfortable enough, I just want to say I'm sorry if we did frustrate you in any way. Please come over to room number two and communicate with us. Thank you. We left. Thank you. Because it asked us to leave. That's crazy. What? That's so crazy. What was that? I was knock right in here. I think you got it, Wyatt. Okay, we're coming in here. This is room number two. Them. Did you say them? Yeah. Someone's talking to us and also about us. So it's almost what it seems like. I'd like to introduce us if you do not know who we are. We introduced ourselves in room number one. We are here in room number two. My name is Ryan. The guy to the left of me sitting in the chair, his name is Wyatt. The guy over closest to the door, his name is Nick. And the guy holding the big light, his name is River. If there is anybody here with us, we are here to communicate with you. If you have anything you'd like to share with us, tell us, because you were not able to communicate with anybody maybe in a while, then we are here to communicate with you and talk to you. So feel free. We have devices in our hands, objects in our hands, that will show us that you are here. Again, I just heard two slow knocks, and that was right back in room number one. Now I did bring my doll in here, I hope you don't mind. Her name is Rosie. Oh shit. Now I did bring my doll in here, I hope you don't mind. Her name is Rosie. Oh shit. That was loud. That was in room one. Was it? Because that sounded right behind me. Really? Mm -hmm. Right, right behind me. That did? Dude, I'm so glad I was pointing at Nick exactly when that just I happened. was looking at myself in the mirror, just waiting for something to happen. Oh, 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 oh. 
You all right there? <laughs> what? Gave me a jump. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I was just about to set this on the bed. <laughs> Are you in here with us? Did you just make that knock? Thank you for grabbing onto this. Who's in here? Can you grab onto it harder, please? If you are... Thank you. What? What did she just what? say? Repeat that. The 360 camera turned off, I think. In her room. Is it off, off? She's saying that. It's really warm. We only turned it on. That thing is brand. That thing is brand new. We turned it on 20 minutes ago. So here, we were told that spirits like to use a lot of energy and malfunction a bunch of people's devices. Well, Ask her if there's a clock in that room. Is there a clock in there? Look at the one in here. Oh, it's gone. It's not working. That one's not working. Is it plugged in? Yeah, it's plugged into the, the outlet. Plugged into the outlet. Okay, there's a clock in here, and it's plugged into the wall. I'm sure everything else works. Let me see, because... The outlet works? So, the outlet's working, and the clock is not working. It just pulled the cord. I watched just the cord. Watched no it. way. I watched the cord. You're move. kidding. I it pulled the clock. I watched it. There was just a on the wall. I just watched that thing move. You Did you, you think you got it? I watched it. I didn't get it. Jesus. Jesus. Please let us know you're coming. Dude. Look, it overheated. Really? Yeah. Like it's Oh hot. my god. Dude, this is this is new. I hope it's not fried. Why would it be fried? Whoa. Feel how hot it was is. Was it plugged in? No. No. It was sitting there alone by itself. Why would it be fried? Feel it. It's hot. Yeah, that's pretty toasty. This this device is brand new, man. Like we didn't have any malfunctions besides the last investigation when it shut off. We just saw that clock move by itself. Yeah. Ew, f no. <laughs> yeah. We saw it pull the. I saw it. The cord get pulled. But we didn't catch it, did we? No, I was pointing at the door and Nick where we heard the noise. I might. I don't know. Thing. I think I I'm standing in front of it. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do a split up. See how that goes. Hopefully, we can get some better evidence. So yeah, let's do it. Are you in here with us? The woman here. The woman here. A what? woman here. It's just me and River in here right now. You can open up to us and talk to us. I was sick. Again, I Again. was sick. Can you try to make a noise for us? Or knock on something? Can you tell us your name, please? Are you in here with us? It's just going red every time. Yeah. Were you young and sick in this room? Yeah, I heard that. Do you feel more comfortable with... Where are you right now? Just us being in here, two of us? Can you lead us somewhere? Shot. Shot. We got bullet earlier. I was just gonna say. Um, turn night vision off. I did. Can it see? Yeah. 
This is going crazy right now. Can you touch something else, like the wall? Try to make a noise for us. Thank you. Thank you. That was in here. Was it? I don't know. Sounded like something, right? Yeah. Can you make another noise to let us know where you are in here? What is going on? C. 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 No, we can't hear you with our own ears, unless you try really hard. We heard that one. Are you behind me? Why do you like to mess with electronics so much? Do you not know what they are, so you're trying to find out? That was like an electric vault yeah, in it my just hand. Yeah, shocked it. Dude, I just got the chills, man. That's the same thing it did in room one. Remember when me Whoa. and Nick said it sounded like someone well, flipped it? I felt that one, man. Yeah. I felt that one. That's crazy. It's like short you making noises out right now. Did you just use a bunch of energy? That hurt. Shocked you? It felt like, you know, one of those shock, the shock pens or the shock potato things that mm -hmm. they have? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, did you just hear that? Yeah. That was sounded that? like a little girl yes. talking. Yes. I heard a cry earlier, too. That legit... That legit sounded like a little like girl so talking. It did. Right now. Like, my arms are f like cold. Is there Probably a little girl in this room? You see my hairs? Mm -hmm. Are we scaring you? So this camera keeps trying to map something in that alcove. Like right where the doll is. Are you attached to this doll somehow? I'm scared. Did you just hear that? That legit just sounded like someone got on the bed. I'm scared. Did you just hear that? That legit just sounded like someone got on the bed. You you heard that, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like I just said, dude. Are you sitting on this bed? Can you try to touch the metal bars at the end of it? The headboard? Doc. Whoa, SLS just went crazy. Gone. Are you saying somebody is dark or it's dark? Did I just see you in my camera? Again. Make a knock or tap on something. That just did. I felt that in the floor. What was that? Please come up to us. I'm angry. Are we making you angry? Tap? Yeah. That was a pretty good one too. Mm -hmm. I seem to like this corner a lot. Is this still going? It is? Yeah. Should we get another device or something? Yeah, let's go check on them, and then we'll see from there.
Did you guys hear that loud? Yeah. Yeah. A couple times. It's been scared going. the shit out of us. They said angry. The EMF meter was going all the way to red and just continue, continue, continue to so spike. For like a whole minute. It yeah. went off or ticked a couple of times right here. Now it's nothing. But me and Wyatt were frozen right here because that noise went off. As soon as the noise went off, I said, I'm angry. I still have the chills, dude. Standing, I felt like I was going to faint. We're standing right here, and it's like someone sat down on the bed and made the frame. We heard that. We heard that a couple times. Something like got on the bed. It was so loud, like the frame creaked, and I, we felt it in the floor. And we were just stuck right here for a minute. Yeah. Trapped here. This one? Aw. Oh. Oh no. No way. What just happened? We lost all this footage. Really? Yep. We just lost it all, yeah. Dude, we had such good evidence too, and now we only have it from one angle. This is not going good. Mm. I don't know what to do, guys. It's. it's... Leave me alone, save the world. I'm gonna try and see if I can save this. If you're in here, there's an object on the bed. The woman who told us that she was ill. We're trying to focus on you right now. Manifest everything you have and communicate with us, please. This will let us know that you are here with us and you are listening. Is there any message you'd like to say to us? Is there any family that you have around here that we can talk to them and, and let them know what you have to say? If you want to, if you can, if you see a way to grab onto any of us. You. That's what, what? I want, dude. A way to grab onto any of us. You. That's what, what I heard, dude. Yeah, that was what we heard earlier. I'm telling you. That was a laugh. That was a full clear That was a full game. Day. Dude, I swear, bro. I heard that. Day. I heard that earlier, guys. Clear as day. I heard that earlier. That sounded like this way. Yeah. Dude, that was a kid's laugh. No, yes, no, that was a little girl's. No, listen, in room two, it said, I'm a woman. In here, it said, ill. Over there, it said, I was sick. That's when it said, I'm a woman. That sounds like a young woman's laugh. That's it. What is your name? The one who laughed. That's really weird. That is really weird. Amy. 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 <gasps> no, again? No, again? 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 Yes? That sounded like here this time. That's why it got up, dude. Shh. Hold on. Shh. I know we got that. If we heard it loud in our own ears, we got it. Those were loud. side of that wall is room two. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're here with us right now. Were you the one who laughed? That was you. There might be something good here when we are in room two. Drain. Drain. What the f***? Your light just, just flickered. It went dim earlier oh, in here. Oh, that definitely caught it. Dude, in room, in room two, I mean, just me and my way in there. He said, I'm a good spirit. Did you hear the girl again? Yeah, me too. It was when I was talking. Wait, let me just do something real quick. That doesn't make my light go up. 
I just want to let whoever... Sick. Again. That went off. I just want to let whoever is in this area, whoever is in this room with us, I want to let you know that you are not welcome to follow us home. We have protection that won't allow you to use us as a... Experiment. Use us as an experiment? You have no permission to do that. You've given us quite a bit of evidence. I'm not trying to go and point fingers and say you're evil. If you want to show us that you are here, if you want to make a noise, laugh again, please show us you're here. Thank you so much. Were you, did you get that? Thank you so much. I'm not saying you're evil. You could be good. And I think whoever it is, I thank you for letting us talk to you, for communicating with us, for giving us some information about you. We know that you're sick. We know that you're a woman. We were trying to reach out to one person, and one of the first people told us that they were sick told us that they were ill. It's me. That it is. Thank you. Uh, my battery just dropped two bars right in front of my eyes. And you, you just put that in right before we got in here. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity, giving us some information. We are going back into room two. Excellent. If you'd like to come in there, communicate with us a little bit before we go. If not, then thank you and goodbye. We're back in here. I just wanted to finish up our conversation. I don't remember. Rose! No, not you, not here. The one in room oh. one. Didn't say Edith, or did it? You better stop or I'm putting that shit in. <laughs> I didn't mean to, bro. I'm f***ing trying to move around and get a good angle. It slipped out. <laughs> it was. I did, I did a drive-by. <laughs> I straight did a drive-by, bro. <laughs> Not intentionally, I promise. Crop dusting. <laughs> I'm putting that in. No, please don't put that in. Yeah, it was right in Wyatt's face. I'm putting that in. <laughs> no, come on, man. We need a little bit of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm never eating Taco Bell ever, ever again. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Why? I don't want to get big <laughs> If there's anybody still in here with us and would like to... I think I have a booger on my nose. I did! Hopefully nobody could see that. <laughs> Little booger just hanging from my nose. The whole <laughs> investigation, man. I didn't see it. Where were you guys at? <laughs> Should be looking at. I look at all y'all no nostrils. I, I make look sure. I on you. Newton River just parts in ours. I didn't mean to drive by you. I was literally trying to get a good angle and it slipped out. I didn't even think about you. <laughs> you being behind me. It slipped out. Dude. <laughs> it did. No, with the sound of that thing, he he definitely walked by and he pushed hard. No. Like, Why? Okay. Listen, what do you want me to keep it in and then get a tummy ache? No, I don't want a tummy ache. Thank you so much. We had a good time. I hope you're not too upset with us. I just want to apologize if we did bother you in any way. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, I guess we're going to end it here. The spirit said goodbye. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sugar Loaf. And we'll see you guys next week.
Peace.